Hello, everyone. Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions have moved uh, back to mildly bullish. Just seeing, we are seeing a little bit of support yesterday. Uh, had some real nice earnings on a couple of tech names and uh, seemed to kind of bolster the market here. Uh, this uh, mildly bullish in a bull market, neutral to a bullish bias. We still have just this consolidation phase right here. This has been ex just extremely choppy and and indecisive, just not a, not a uh, decision being made here by the market currently. And that's and that's fine. That's just what we have to work with. So we uh, kind of have to just work with what the market is doing and try to analyze where some opportunities there. The breadth indicator is probably in this setup the most concerning because it's happening on a couple of different levels. We're just seeing not broad base market participation. We're seeing that buy sell ratio separate again back to the bearish side. So we'll watch to see if we maybe top out in these upper ranges of this most recent trend on that bearish move or if we uh, continue to slide. Uh, we'll see what happens today. Uh, markets are closed on Monday and we'll pick back up on Tuesday. Along with that breadth discussion, the indices tab, we've been talking about the Dow Jones Industrial Average has only got two in that uptrend versus 21 in the downtrend. So that's a part of that breadth that we've been talking about. A lot of these stocks are potentially bottoming out. For example, Walmart, some support levels right here, extremely oversold. Uh, we're seeing that Boeing is also just sitting right on this real long support line. Uh, nonetheless, it has that downtrend. We want to wait for that to get back to yellow and then get what and then wait for it to get back to green ultimately. So some of these stocks, we'll see if they do find some support at these levels. These are just Dow stocks in this downtrend. So you can see uh, that is not a that's a not not positive breadth for the overall market when you have uh, 21 of the Dow stocks that are in downtrends currently, unless they all find support right here uh, pretty soon. The Muscle Stocks Group, there are some nice looking names. Uh, the new buy list, let's take a look at that first, and then I'll show you another one. The new buy list, sometimes we do get a stock that's had a buyout already that maintains it, the, the symbol hasn't changed for the buyout company. So the data looks like this kind of flat, but it'll stay, stay active. It's still a live ticker symbol. It's just been it's just had a buyout offer so there's no reason for the price to change a whole lot sometimes it'll just tick up and down a little bit and that in this case you could just skip right through that and move along to the next one uh, a uh, a e h r electronic stock nice pattern nice fundamentals as well i n t t this is one that's been you know, dancing around towards the upper end of that range and not a real good solid confirmation bar. Let me go into that six month time frame here. Uh, also, PTGX, uh, medical bio stock, FLNC. Uh, also, uh, well, some oil in that, in that one. COCO, we talked about that back here on this confirmation bar and it's, it had a pause day and then a breakout. So good confirmation bar on that one. Uh, COCO, breakout confirmation bar probably of the stocks we just looked through that's the best looking pattern very smooth looking trend not a lot of volatility those are stocks you want to add into the watch list and then watch to trade them over and over again as you go from uh, as you go from green maybe back to yellow or you can go from green to the extreme so if you're buying inside of the buy zone and it rallies all the way up and it gets up to that extreme, we know that it's not sustainable. It doesn't stay there. So we can look at that as an opportunity of selling into that strength and then letting it pull back again and then buying once it gets back into that buy zone. A couple ideas there for you today. That'll, uh, that will wrap up today's uh, commentary, and we will see you next week. Thank you.